Pigeons get more respect in Britain than they do here. In fact, carrier pigeons were an important part of the Allied communication system during World War II. Mark Phillips has the story of a long-lost message that's getting new attention. This is Bletchley Park, perhaps the most secret location of World War II Britain. It's where the Nazi military codes were broken. Now it's at the center of another story of wartime heroism and sacrifice and intrigue and pigeons. Pigeons, not the enemy of statues in the park kind, the best friend of soldiers who use them to send vital messages kind. Paratroopers carried homing pigeons on D-Day when radio silence was essential. Bomber crews used them to report where they were if they were shot down. They braved snipers and hawks trained to kill them. Many made it through, many didn't, including this one. The first bone to come down was its wishbone. Mm -hmm. David Martin found the remains of this bird when he was opening up what had been a boarded up fireplace 30 years ago. It seemed a bird had used the top of his chimney as its last roost a long time ago. And, and then, then the he found this. this one. This is the, the final leg that came out of the chimney, and it had on it this red capsule, mm -hmm. which unscrews. And when you unscrew it, you have a spindle there, a spool, mm -hmm. slotted, and round that was a very flimsy piece, bigger than a cigarette paper, but even thinner paper, with the message on. He still got it. It was clearly a wartime message, written in code, clumps of five letters that make no sense unless you can decipher it which is not something you'd normally expect to find in your chimney. I was absolutely flabbergasted. I mean, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable. David told the experts at Britain's main war museum about it, but they weren't interested. These things were common, they said. But lately, the people at Bletchley Park, now also a museum but where they know about wartime codes, said they'd never heard of a coded pigeon message, and he should really send it here, to GCHQ the British government communications headquarters, where the current code breakers work. Now they've said... We are working on the decryption. But that without knowing exactly which code book was used, and there were many, they can't decipher it. Even though the message contains the name of the officer who sent it, where it was meant to go, and has the registration number of the bird who carried it. In his more conspiratorial moments, David Martin thinks they may not want to make the message public. It could be they have decoders, and it relates to uh, British agents calling a, a bombing raid in France which killed a lot of civilians. That, was, that might still be sensitive. It might relate to traitors detected in the French resistance, and that again might be sensitive. Whatever the reason, it's focused attention on the exploits of the pigeons, who get their own section at the code-breaking museum. Messages implying. For good reason, yeah, says pigeon fan do. Colin Hill. I mean, you look at these birds as heroes. Yeah, yeah, they were heroes. Some were even given medals for their heroic service, but not David Martin's poor pigeon, just another anonymous victim of the war. Pigeon wars. Pigeon Wars. Yeah, it was unbelievable when you, you know, sit and read about it, at just what really did happen to the poor pigeons. So, a pigeon whose registration number appears on no wartime register, an officer whose name can't be found on any wartime roster, and a code that some of the world's best code breakers say they can't break. You couldn't make this up. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Phillips at Bletchley Park. Goodness, great. Oh, World War II is just a story that continues to give great stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and doesn't Mark Phillips always find a great story? Yeah. I am so smitten with him. Yeah, every time he does a story, I just sit and wait to see what is he going to say, and he always comes up with something. Mm -hmm. And tells the good story. And to tells the, way the he good story. Yeah. From carrier pigeons to the birth of a new royal. Mm -hmm. That's right.